My name is Adam Kurtz, and I am a Protected Species Management Specialist in the Pacific Islands Regional Office. One of the challenges we have is because the tourism industry is so large here that we do have a lot of um, human and wildlife interactions. And there are some laws that are protecting them, and it's our duty to um, ensure compliance of those laws with the public. Um, and that's mainly what I specialize in is human and wildlife interaction. The two primary wildlife conservation laws that protect the marine species are the Endangered Species Act, or the ESA for short, and the Marine Mammal Protection Act, or the MMPA. Both of these laws prohibit an action that's called take. The ESA protects all the species that are listed as either endangered or threatened under the law. So sea turtles, for example, are protected under the ESA. Take defined under the ESA is to harass, harm, pursue, hunt, shoot, wound, kill, trap, capture or collect or attempt to engage in any such conduct regarding these protected species under the law. The MMPA protects all marine mammals, so seals, dolphins, and whales. But the MMPA actually further defines harassment um, as any act of pursuit, torment, or annoyance that has the potential to injure a marine mammal in the wild or the potential to disturb a marine mammal in the wild uh, by causing a disruption of behavioral patterns. So in short, disturbing these animals can be considered harassment in many situations and harassment is illegal according to these laws. Human interactions with wild animals can disrupt their natural behavior and hurt their chances to uh, survive in the wild. Um, so in general, and this goes for all marine wildlife, not just protected species, you want to view the animals with respect and don't disturb them or do anything to change their normal behavior, like chasing them or touching them, feeding, playing with them. So you really want to avoid encircling marine mammals or sea turtles while snorkeling or swimming. And you don't want to trap them between your boat and shore. Because you really don't want to swim with wild dolphins or whales either, because you can disturb their natural behavior. And this can be considered harassment. Uh, if you see a monk seal or a sea turtle on the beach, don't attempt to push them back in the water or pour water on them. It's actually normal for them to sleep out on the beach, so just allow them to rest undisturbed. And it's really important to limit your time observing the animals to just a few minutes. So you really want to encourage your customers instead of getting close to the animals, to use binoculars or the zoom feature on your cameras. No Fisheries has actually developed marine wildlife viewing guidelines to help inform tour operators um, and members of the public on how to responsibly and legally uh, view protected species. So for sea turtles, we recommend viewing them on land and in the water from a distance of about 10 feet. Uh, for dolphins and whales, you want to remain at least 50 yards away except for the humpback whales. So there's actually a federal regulation that prohibits approaching a humpback whale by any means within 100 yards. The regulation also has a, a clause for viewing by aircraft, by manned aircraft, and uh, you can't operate a manned aircraft within 1,000 feet of a humpback whale. For monk seals, it's a little different. So you can give them enough space by using what we call the rule of thumb. So what you do is you make a thumbs up gesture. You wanna extend your arm straight out in front of you uh, and you want to have your thumb parallel to the ground in your line of sight with the seal. And if your thumb completely covers the seal, uh, then you're likely far enough away to not disturb it. These are the distances that we recommend to avoid harassment and to comply with the wildlife conservation laws. But it's still possible to disturb these animals when you are viewing them at or further away from these distances. So you want to be sure to watch out for any signs of disturbance. And if the animals start acting abnormally, it's best just to leave the area as quickly as you can. So you can always visit our website at www.fpir.noaa.gov um, and click on Protected Resources link on the side banner. Um, you can also visit a great website that highlights responsible wildlife viewing and stewardship. Uh, that was actually set up by um, some of our non-government partners at roarhawaii.org. And there's also a NOAA Fisheries program called Dolphin Smart. It's a partnership with other NGOs at www.dolphinsmart.org. And people are welcome to contact me personally if they have questions or request any information. So we have a lot of brochures and other educational and outreach materials that we can give to companies to share with our customers like our viewing guidelines or various posters. And we also have ID cards um, and magnets with the stranding numbers on them. And we're always looking to partner with companies that share our goal of conserving marine resources in Hawaii.